Mavo, that's Nigerian for good day. Today we're going to the continent of Africa to read the wonderful folk tale, Why the Sky is Far Away, a Nigerian folk tale. Retold by Mary Jo Gerson. Pictures by Carla Golambi. I noticed that this book received a reward and a book review as well. It says best illustrated children's book from the New York Times. So maybe when you're thinking about writing and your opinions, writing pieces, you can think about what books have the best illustrations, just like this book received. And you can convince me why this book has the best illustrations compared to other books. The dedication page is to Charles, Danielle, and Jessica into Nigeria. And that is from the author and the illustrator wrote and dedicated the page in the book to, to my husband, John Udovitz, whose love and encouragement have helped me to realize my visions. Special thank you to Anne Ryder and Susan Liu of Little Brown for their guidance and for being wonderful to work with. It's a wonderful thing the illustrator wrote. And the story begins. In the beginning, the sky was very close to Earth. In that time, men and women did not have to sow crops and harvest them. They did not have to prepare soup or cook rice. The children did not have to carry water from the stream or gather sticks for the fire. Anybody who was hungry just reached up and took a piece of sky and ate it. It was delicious too. Sometimes the sky tasted like meat stew, sometimes like roasted corn, and sometimes like ripe pineapple. This was very little work to do. So people spent their time weaving beautiful cloth, carving handsome statues, and retelling tales of adventures. And there were always festivals to prepare for. The musicians practiced, the mask makers carved their masks in secret, and everywhere the children watched and the preparations in wonder. Such beautiful colors, and you can see that the illustrations go with the wonderful words on the page on page two. So you can see that the illustrator is depicting people picking food from the sky and then eating it. And you see the beautiful woven cloths that the people are wearing because they made their clothes because they had so much free time. And now you see some more beautiful illustrations of the people making their sculptures. You can see some great animals in the background. You see a monkey and a nice dog. So there are beautiful hats, jewelry. Oh, you see a beautiful, woman creating a beautiful fabric. I wonder if that will be turned into a beautiful dress later. And I see someone over here, perhaps he's practicing for one of the festivals, and I see another beautiful bird and beautiful house in the background. So because they have so much free time because they don't have to harvest their food, they're able to do a lot of extracurricular activities, especially in the art world. The king of the land was called the Oba. In his court was magnificent. At the royal palace was a team of servants whose only work was to cut and shape the sky for ceremonies. That's wonderful. So, there were beautiful craftsmen creating the objects that were in the sky that everyone was able to utilize, observe, and be entertained by because they were placed in the sky by these beautiful artists 
for the ceremonies. That's fantastic. Oh, I wonder what happens next. Remember, every folktale tells you a lesson. But the sky was growing angry because people were wasteful. Most often they took more than they could possibly eat and they threw leftovers onto garbage heaps. I am tired of seeing myself soured and spoiled on every rubbish bin in the land brooded the sky. So the sky is not happy with the people being wasteful. Hmm. I wonder why so many people are discarding their garbage in heaps and giants piles. Even the puppies seem to be embracing in the piles. Either they're carrying it from the piles or taking it from the piles to play with. Hmm. That doesn't seem very respectful to our earth. And the sky, the sky is brooding. That means the sky is not happy. So one morning at sunrise, the sky turned very dark. Thick black clouds covered gathered over the Oba's palace and a great voice boomed out from above. Oba, mighty one, your people have wasted many gifts. I am tired of seeing myself on heaps of garbage everywhere. I warn you, do not waste my gifts any longer or they will no longer be yours. Oba and Tara sent messengers carrying the sky's warning to every corner of the land. In every village, people were told about the sky's unhappiness. The children were warned never to take a piece of sky unless they were truly hungry. Well, the sky knows what it wants. It does not want you to be wasteful. So unless you want it, do not take it from sky to eat. I can see the dark clouds looming over the palace of where the king resides. Oh, and I see the king over here. He's sending all of his people to spread the news of what the sky has said. Do not be wasteful. They're sending a trumpet and a messenger. The trumpet doo -doo -doo -doo, is being played by the gentleman in pink behind and the proclamation is being read by the gentleman in front and is going to go to each person. They're gonna go to each person and share the sad news the sky has shared with the king. Not to be wasteful. Oh, there is the king. Music playing in the background. People were very, very careful. That is, for a while. Then the time arrived for the greatest festival of the year. It was the festival that celebrated the power of the Oba. The most important important palace dancers performed all through the night and the Oba himself in ceremonial robes danced for his subjects. By the fifth day there was rejoicing in every home and on every street. The Oba knew though that with the dancing and merriment people might forget the sky's warning. So he made sure no one took more than he or she absolutely needed. We're going to finish right there. I want you to think about, do you think that people have the power to not be wasteful and not to take more than they need it? Hmm. 
a very good lesson to think about. I wonder, I certainly hope that the Oba's message to the people that came from the sky, that the people can adhere to it, that the people can promise to not be wasteful. We will continue reading tomorrow, my friends.